Hello dear learners, welcome to today's program. I am Dr. Pallavi Gogoi of Krishna Kanta Handik State Open University. Today I shall take up Unit 11 titled Remedial Grammar where we shall discuss Introductory There. The course is entitled Foundation Course in English, Semester 1, Block 2. So let us quickly begin. First I shall start with the table of contents where we shall discuss the learning objectives followed by the introduction, a little bit about Introductory There with examples and then questions to check your progress and the references. Starting with the learning objectives, after going through this unit in this particular video, the learner will be able to appreciate the importance of the rules of grammar that emphasizes on the correct use of sentences in order to make them suitable to a situation. The learner will also be able to learn how sentences are modified by the use of there. To provide you with a brief introduction, Language use involves much more than your knowledge of the basic elements of the language itself. It involves an ability to look at the sentences that you have written or the utterances that you have made more critically. This critical look at the sentences produced will help you to remedy some of your earlier ideas and to manipulate the structures of your sentences or utterances to suit a communicative situation. In order to be a competent language user, your knowledge of the rules of grammar will have to be supplemented with the rules of use. It means that apart from being grammatically correct, your sentences have to be acceptable and appropriate to a given situation. A sentence may be grammatically possible and feasible, but can still be unacceptable if it is not appropriate to a particular context or a situation. Now coming to introductory there. The uses of introductory there. Although grammatically correct, yet the sentence, for example, a man is at the gate, sounds rather unusual. A better variant of the same sentence would be, there's a man at the gate. So notice the difference. Number one, we use there as a formal subject of a sentence to say that something exists. We can use there to talk about things that exist physically. For example, there is an arts college in the village or there are three high schools in the area. Number two, we can also use there as a formal subject of a sentence to talk about things that happen and about situations. For example, there was a big earthquake in Assam in 1897 or there is hardly any time left for revising the essay. Number three, we can use there as a formal subject of a sentence for a number of people and things. For example, there are four of us in this group or there are five books on the table. Number four, we can use a clause with there being to introduce a reason for something. For example, there being no evidence against him, the case was dropped. There being no electricity last night, I could not complete my essay. Number five, we can use there with problem or difficulty and a gerund. For example, there won't be any problem in finding out the house or there will be some problem if the guide does not turn up. Note that if the formal subject there is used in a sentence, the be verb that follows agrees with the real subject that follows the be verb. Interrogatives with there. When we make interrogatives of sentences beginning with there, we make use of the subject verb inversion rule as illustrated in the following sentences. Note A. There is someone in the room. So we could use an interrogative saying, is there anyone in the room? Question mark. Is there anyone in the room? B. There is no one in the room. Isn't there anyone in the room? Or is there no one in the room? So you see how the interrogative is being used? C. There is a chance that the Eid holiday will be shifted to Thursday. Now if we change it to interrogative form, is there a chance that the Eid holiday will be shifted to Thursday? Especially in conversation, we frequently add a question tag to a statement, thereby turning it into a question. For example, there is no one in the room, is there? Or, there are three books on the table, aren't there? This brings us to the questions to check your progress, starting with question number one. Rewrite the sentences using there. A. A wooden bridge was across the river. 
B. Nothing to see in this museum. C. Is something bothering you? D. No classes were held today. E. The story has no truth in it. F. Are any letters for me? G. Is there any more tea left in the pot? H. A man is at the gate. Here is the reference. I hope you'll go through the B English graduate self-learning material that is the SLM or Foundation Course in English, Block 2, Unit 11, Semester 1. Thank you, dear learners.